Like to have a laugh and a chat with your friends? No, naughty, not allowed. If you do that, you get sent here. The School of Silence. This is where children, the noisiest children that is, get sent for some intensive silent training. Get in there. Today, four new pupils are going to be arriving and they've got to prove they've got what it takes to stay completely silent. But will they pass or will they fail? I did hope. Let's go and find out. The new pupils are being assessed by the headmistress, Miss Gobstop, and the form tutor. Is this glass thick enough, Mr. Gross? Yes, it's nine-inch thick safety glass capable of stopping a charging rhino without sustaining so much as a scratch. This lot are from Brighton, and they've been sent to the school because their neighbours can't handle living next to their noise anymore. Right, you! Name! Savvy! Yes, Savvy. She likes annoying teachers at school by tapping her feet in class. You! Name! Kelsey is a bit of a chatterbox and often gets into trouble for it. Let's hope she doesn't get caught talking during her silent training. You name Donnie! Donnie winds up her family by playing her music loudly and when practicing the keyboard, cranks up the volume full blast. You the end, what's your name? <laughs> wow, Megan also uses those lungs for singing. She likes to warble at full volume to music videos. What a handful. Hopefully the School of Silence will teach him a thing or two about being quiet. Right, get out! That's it! Yes, get out, all of you! Here's how the day works. The new pupils have three challenging classes to learn how to be silent, followed by the crucial final exam, which will determine whether they graduate or will be expelled. If they are too noisy... <laughs> <laughs> I will know about it, thanks to this device, the Gobstop 2000, the latest in noise monitoring technology. If they pass, they will graduate and receive the ultimate reward, the Golden Gobstopper. If they fail to keep that shut, then I will have no choice but to expel them. Now, before we begin, I must ensure the school has been hushed down. Seven seconds to hush down. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Shh. <sighs> the first class is with Mr. Gross, one of the school's finest teachers, but definitely not the best dressed. Come in! Oh, good grief. Sit down quickly, quiet! What's your name, young lady? Donny. Donny? What was all that about? I just closed the door. You just closed the door or did you slam it shut? I am Mr Gross, your teacher for general studies. We will be conducting a series of tests which must be conducted in absolute silence. Now, remember, Miss Gobstop will be listening at all times on these microphones. To determine which child does each test, we will be picking Gobstoppers from a jar, which are the same colours as all of your ties. If you make too much noise, you will set off the Gobstop 2000 and you will see on the side. Let the silent training begin. Stinky sock. Very nice. The chosen teammate will have to breathe in a pair of stinky socks for 30 seconds in absolute silence and the rest of you will have to keep quiet at the same time. Right, let's see who it's going to be. Save, is that right? Yeah. Yes, sit up straight, girl, please. Right. We put them in this breathing apparatus for you so you can get a proper whiff. Right, are you ready? 
Yeah. You're going to have to hold this on your face and hold it there for 30 seconds. Oh, poor Savvy. Those socks are from Mr. Gross's gym bag. I caught a whiff of them earlier. They stink. Your 30 seconds starts now. Now, the smell of sweat from those socks has got to be kicking in straight away. But look at this. Self-control from all team members, not a sound from anyone. Amazing. Ah, I see Donny won't look him in the eye. That's a cunning tactic. And Megan's doing the same. Stop! Very good. Very good indeed. How do you feel? Are you going to be sick? Good. I think you lot are going to do very well in this school. Shh. Looks like they've impressed Mr. Gross, but can they maintain their cool as their training continues? Hat. Sick. Glove. One of you will have to wear two gloves filled with lovely cat sick. Let's find out who's doing the task. Donny, would you like to pick out a gobstopper? Oh. It's you. Shh. Oh, have a little whiff of that, Megan. There's nothing worse than cat sick. Right. In the cat sick glove. Oh, yes, lovely. All right, stop there. That's enough. Put this on her. That's it. Hold on tight. Now, that's not really cat sick, but it's still pretty there gross. There we go. Get your fingers right in. It's only a bit of cat sick. Make sure you get the lumps in. They're the best bits. Pour it all in. Right, hold on a second. There we go. Get it all in there. Put your hand in there, dear. Ew. Yes. Oh. You sounded like a cat then. Ew. <laughs> right. <laughs> your 30 seconds starts now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bit of giggling there. Oh, too much clapping has set the Gobstop 2000 <laughs> off. <laughs> Nearly there. Time up! What a mess you've made in my lovely classroom with all this catsick. Look, you've made a mess everywhere. Sit down, dear. In your desk, quickly. No buts. Yes, you've got catsick on your hands. That's because you've had them in a gut full of catsick, dear. It's bound to happen. But nothing. In your desk. Shh. Well, you were very, very quiet, weren't you? You did incredibly well. Until we got out the catsick. It always gets them. If you're insolent children, we will find out. Your final exam is a lot more difficult than this. Right. That's it. I've really had enough of you. Get out of my classroom. At once. Insolent child. I just he did that on purpose. That's what a delightful bunch. I like what I've heard so far. Nothing. Let's hope it continues that way. OK, girls, you've had your first lesson with Mr Gross. The worst was definitely catsick. The catsick. I think you made the most noise in that one. But how was it for you, darling? Was it hard to stay quiet with that kind of stuff on your hands? Yeah, because you can feel bits. <laughs> Ew, what, like carrots? Yeah. That's not nice, is it? No. What do you think of Mr Gross? Do you think he's pretty cool? No. Well, bear in mind, he's here to teach you to be silent. It's all part of your silent training, which I have to say you've done pretty well with so far. But I smell a game plan, am I right? Yes. OK. Are you going to tell me about it? No. No. Well, you're going to have to just watch and see what happens. Yes. yes. OK, you know about your next tests? You know where they're going to be taking place? Yeah. In the canteen mm -hmm. with Nora and Brittany. Good luck. It's off to the canteen for you four. Attention. Attention. This is the School of Silence. Pupils caught breathing loudly in gym class will be given extra gym class. So, having washed the cat sick off their hands, the girls head to the canteen for class two in their silent training. Brittany! Brittany, dear! Oh, don't tell me it's lunchtime already. Well, it must be. Welcome to my kitchen. My name is Nora. 
nor a nugget, missus. And this is my lovely assistant, the beautiful Brittany. Brittany Biscuit. Isn't she a cracker? <laughs> Just my little joke there, dears. Now, can you see the, the sign there on the back? Yes. Mr Gross has one in his classroom. I'm sure you've seen it before, haven't you? Yes. Right, if that flash is red, then that means you're making too much noise. Shh! Time for more silent training. Sprout. Trifle. Sounds yummy, doesn't it? Do you like Brussels sprouts, Megan? No. No? Well, I love them. Yes. I love Brussels sprouts. I put them in all my desserts. Mm. The object of this test is to remove the Brussels sprout from the trifle and present it to your chosen teammate, who then has to eat it. All right? So, let's find out who is going to be eating the Brussels sprout. Could we have the coloured gobstoppers there, please, Brittany? Now, I think... Donny, would you like to choose the gobstopper? Oh, it's the blue one! Marvellous! <laughs> Kelsey, that's you. Do you like Brussels sprouts, dear? Mm, they're OK. Mm, jolly good, jolly good. Shh. OK, Donny, you know what you're doing, don't you, dear? Yeah. Reach in here, see if you can find the Brussels sprout and uh, feed it to your good friend Kelsey there. You have 30 seconds of absolute silence from now on, please, ladies. Starting from now. Oh, gross. Good so far. That's pretty quiet. Not a sound. Five seconds to go. Oh, there's time. Well done. Well done, you polished that all off, didn't you? Well, jolly good. Andy complete silence, both of you. Well, I'm very pleased with you, young ladies. I think you may well be graduating at the end of the day. Shh! Nora's taking a shine to the girls. What's she got in store for them now? Splat a pot. Mushy peas. Right, now, this involves our very special splatter pot. And you will have 30 seconds to splat as much mushy peas into your chosen teammate's face as you can in the allotted time. All right? OK. Uh, but who is it going to be? Um, I'd like you to choose the coloured gobstopper this time, cos you've been, uh, You've been ever so good there, in the corner. <gasps> oh, marvellous, Megan! Oh, that's <laughs> fabulous! Savi, if you would uh, like to come round into the kitchen. Brittany, the splatter pulp, please, dear. Come stand by me there. That's it, lovely. Do you want to just pop those on for me, dear? Fancy a new hairdo? No? You have 30 seconds. I want as many of these as you can get into Megan's face, all right? OK, and your 30 seconds starts now! Amazing levels of quietness and control here. Are these the same girls whose neighbours complained about them being too loud? Oh, tiny giggle there. But she's doing really well under fire of mushy peas. Superbly quiet. Just two seconds left. Oh, and that's time! Well done, ladies! Well done! <laughs> you didn't make a peep there, did you, Megan? I'm so pleased with you. I really am. OK, Savi, dear, would you like to go? Mind how you go there, dear. Just uh, come back and take your seat. Well, ladies, I am terribly impressed with you. I would like to see you ladies graduate with flying colours at the end of the day. I think you've been a marvellous team, and thank you all very much. OK? Right. I think it's about time for you to go. Thank you ever so much, ladies. Best of luck with the rest of the day. All right. Cheerio. Have these children been sent to the right school? Um, I just no, it was... in They're as quiet as mice. <laughs> Who wants a hug? Mm -hmm. yeah. Marvellous. OK, girls, two more tests out of the way. How are you feeling? Cold, wet. Cold. Why are you cold and wet, Megan? Because I've got peas thrown at me. Yeah, you enjoyed throwing mushy peas at your mate, Megan. A little bit. Well, of course, it's all designed to test how good you are at staying silent. How well do you think you did? Um, good, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, quite good. Yeah. I 
have to say you've got one of the strongest teams I think I've met yet because you just seem to know what you're doing. Have you sat down as a foursome and gone, right, this is what we do, and you're sticking to a plan? Is that what it is? Not exactly. No, we haven't sat down and discussed it, but we know what we're doing. Do you think you're going to go away with the golden gobstopper? Yeah. 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 You've got one more lesson left. It's with Miss Bunsen. Have you heard about Miss Bunsen? No. Uh -uh. She's slightly mad, but has lovely hair. Good luck. Go and meet Miss Bunsen, and um, let's see how silent you can stay. Attention. Attention. This is the school of silence. All pupils are reminded that when leaving school, they must wait until they are at least three miles away before speaking. Well, this lot are sailing through their silent training, but will they ace their final exam at the end of the day? Well, they're not there yet, just one class to go. Will their nerves hold out, or will Miss Bunsen be the one to break them? Now write this down, children. Apparently, E equals MC squared. <laughs> Who'd have thought it? <laughs> That's it, get that down. Oh, come in! Come in! That's right, for the girls, eh? of silence and my name is Miss Bunsen. Now I am your science teacher. <laughs> right then, we're going to be conducting some experiments but of course we're going to be doing them silently. So if you're to have a, a nasty accident then make sure you do it quietly, okay? So what's Miss Bunsen got planned for the girls training? I'm very excited about this girls. Oh, 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 oh very excited. It's my new invention. It's called the invisible umbrella. <laughs> I've got to write this on the board. In <laughs> oh, umbrella. Do you know, someone stopped me on the street once and thought I was that girl, you know. Yeah. Rihanna. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was the hair that gave it away, yeah. <laughs> right. Here we go, the gobstopper. Let's find out who it's going to be. Pick! Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Oh! <laughs> uh -huh. It's you, Sammy! Here we go. This is my invisible umbrella. Ooh. Oh, it's a sight to behold, isn't it, girls? Now, I think this is groundbreaking, this one. I think this one's going to work. Come on, love, come on. Shh. That's right, you're going to give this to uh, Savvy in a minute. Come on, then, up you get. Oh, dear, I hope you were kind to her earlier on in the canteen, otherwise... Uh-oh. <laughs> right, there we go. Now, here we are. We've got things to represent the seasons. You will have 30 seconds to complete this task in complete silence. Remember, Miss Gobstop will be listening at all times. Now, here we go. That's for you. Your silent time starts now. First up, it's a British summer. <laughs> oh, bit of giggling there. That's autumn. There goes winter. Oh, good self-control. And finally, a spring shower. Still no giggling. They've done it pretty good. Well, oh dear, what a mess. Got all the seasons done, so that's, that's good. So it's back to the drawing board for Miss Bunsen and her invisible umbrella invention. Time for one last bit of silent training before the final exam. But these girls are ice queens. Nothing can break them. Or can it? The next one is all about germs, and it's about how to catch a cold. Wonderful. Right, then. Now, for this, one of you is going to have a pair of boxing gloves on. The other person will be throwing balloons full to the brim with snot and bogies and phlegm. Mm. They'll be quite literally trying to catch a cold. Have a look and see which one of you will be doing this. <laughs> oh, Kelsey, why don't you be? That's it. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Donny, it's you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Unlucky. <laughs> Come on up. That's right. There we are. And if you could stand just here for me. Now you, Kelsey. <laughs> I've got a treat for you. You will be throwing these snot bombs. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Let's get on with it, shall we? <laughs> How 
to catch a cold. This is groundbreaking science. I hope you take this seriously, girls. Let's see how many you can catch in 30 seconds. In, of course, complete silence before time starts. Now! So, can they catch a cold and keep quiet? Oh, bit of a snigger there. <laughs> oh, no, that set off the Gobstop 2000. <laughs> oh, dear. That's it. It's all over. There is snot and borgies everywhere. Oh, it's like the inside of a hanky in here. Girls, I heard quite a lot of sniggering and giggling during that exercise. Hmm, you seem to be getting worse, not better. Now, it's time for you to get off to meet Colonel Kittens. So off you go, on your way. Bye-bye. What went wrong? Oh, Danny, that's yeah. a big squeeze you make. <laughs> so I'm gonna be lucky if they put their noisy little fingers on this. <gasps> okay, if I was to say one to ten, how are you doing? Ten being the best, one being the worst. I'd say eight. You think eight out of ten? Yeah. Did I not hear Miss Bunton say that she thinks you're getting worse? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what happens in the final exam then? Because you've got to be really silent, haven't you? We're gonna try our hardest thing. Yeah. OK, well, listen, if you get three peaks over the, uh, the Gobstop 2000, then you will be expelled. But hopefully you'll graduate. I think the way things are going, you may be doing well. But it could all change in the final exam, so good luck. Attention! Attention! This is the school of silence. Pupils are reminded not to scream when they see the school ghost. If it can be quiet, so can you. They've had their three classes, and now it's time for their final exam. Colonel Kittens will really put them to the test. To graduate and win the golden gobstopper, they must keep that shut. If they set off the gobstop 2,000 three times, they will be expelled! Their silent training's all been building up to this, their final exam, with Colonel Kittens. Right, welcome, ladies. I'm Colonel Kittens, and it's my job to make you crack. If you manage to keep this shut, you will graduate with a golden gobstopper. Do you think you can win it? Yes. Yes. Right. Your time starts now. They have just 90 seconds between them and the golden gobstopper. Come on, girls, you can do it. Quite easy to begin with. Feather duster. I like a bit of tickling. Oh, 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 no, no. Good self-control. You can see here the silent training really paying off. Silly string. Oh, it's building, yep, definitely some giggling there. And it's getting tougher and very messy. Oh, I think Donnie's starting to lose it. She just needs to keep quiet. Ah, oh, brilliant control from Megan there. Oh, it's the feet. As we all know, a very ticklish part of the body. I think Donnie's struggling. Yep, that got her. But has that giggling set off the Gobstop 2000? Just 10 seconds on the clock. Time up! I'm out of breath! Pretty good! But was it? Good enough. You can laugh now, dear. You look like a giant trifle. You should carry that look home, Donna. Looks good. I thought you disappeared entirely for a moment there. Sniggering away under her breath. I am impressed. 
You look like a party gone wrong. Not one I'd like to attend. Right! Get out! So, smiley people, that was Colonel Kittens. What do you think? Messy, horrible, mean. But of course, that was your final exam. That was what all the training today was about. You had to put it all into practice and be silent in the final exam. So would you say silent training works? Yeah. Yeah? yeah, yeah, yeah. It seems to have done. Okay then, well, of course, we are about to find out whether you have graduated or whether you are expelled. So um, this is it, the moment. Good luck. Shh. It's time to get their final exam results from Miss Gobstop. Come in. Now, you've been sent here because you're all far too noisy. And I've put you through rigorous silent training today. Let's look at your reports. Donny, you made a dreadful start. Strange oo noises during the cat sick test. Thought you were going to be sick yourself. Shh! That's it. Hold on tight. <laughs> Hold it. Shh. Your health and your noise levels improved. Not bad. Megan. You kept this shut during your test. Shh. Shh. Kelsey. Perfect. A silent role model. Shh. Shh. I might have you stuffed and placed in my trophy cabinet. Savvy. You really are a girl for all seasons. Not a peep in Miss Bunsen's class. Well done. Shh. That's it. Oh. Shh. So how do you think you did in your final exam? Very good. Quite good. Good. And test. Really? Well, I will be the judge of that. I can now reveal that you will graduate. Yes! yes! You did make a few tiny noises, but they weren't enough to set off the Gobstop 2000. <laughs> Who is going to have the honor to receive the Golden Gobstopper? Now, go forth and spread the silence. Now get out! Silently. Barney. Can leave. Tough mission ahead for Carrie. She has to work out whether the gymnast team are only here for the competition or something more evil. Here's MI High. What's the first rule of Bamzuki? Do not, do not talk, talk about Bamzuki. All right, let's do battle. Four Zooks, three levels, and only two places in the finale. This Zook's going out with a bang. How do they come? How do they fall? Super cool. Which show rules? Bamzuki Street rules. The Zooks are back. All new Bamzuki Wednesdays at 5:15 on the CBBC channel.